Hello everyone, this is Rick9G2009 again. How are you? Hopefully everyone's doing well. I am back again, and this video we're going to actually focus on food. And remember, this is a series that's focusing on survival, so we're not really focused too much on aesthetics, on look, how things look, alright? If you're looking at that, there are other good videos on this, but um, I'm not focusing on that myself right now. What I'm doing right now is hitting this tall grass. And the reason is because, if you notice, you're going to get some seeds. And you don't need an axe, you can just do it with your fist. And you just go around and see, the seeds are adding up. Every time you hit the tall grass, you're not going to get an actual seed. But it happens once in a while, there we go. And what this seed helps to do, you're going to help to make wheat. And wheat is very important for food. You can make bread, and you can also use this wheat to lure animals later on but here we're just focusing again on surviving we've already built a nice little shelter we've survived our first and second day and now we're just really focused on continue survival if you see on the bottom left here on the bottom right sorry of my hotbar you will see I have four pieces of uh, meat well that's good for now but it's gonna run out eventually and I'm gonna starve so we have to start making some wheat and we're gonna do this. You see I made a little bit of changes to my house. I've made the roof a little higher. I've done some mining down there. Um, nothing really you should focus too much on. I made a little bed. Um, I'll go into those in another video, but I just want to focus on food. So let me make a couple more sticks. There we go. And the sticks are important because I'm going to make fencing. And fencing is pretty important because you're going to need it to actually keep the wheat in and animals out. The wheat doesn't walk out but the animals tread on it. So here's what you do. You put sticks in this configuration and you get two fencing. I've already done a little bit of that. In order to make a gate, which is pretty cool, pretty important, to get in or out, you put two planks in the middle and four sticks on either side. And there you go. You make a gate. All right, so we have a little bit of seeds, we have a little bit of fencing, we're almost done. All we need is a hoe, so I'm going to need a couple of, okay, you're going to need stone, iron, wood, whatever you need, and two sticks. So if you make it into this configuration, you get a stone hoe, okay, and we're ready. We're ready to go out and make our little uh, wheat garden. I was going to say fencing, but wheat garden getting hungry already see hunger goes down so let's do this let's let's do a little bit of fencing here again this is not anything pretty okay this is nothing to win an award it is just simply to survive okay so what I'm gonna do I fence myself in I'm gonna make a little gate okay just nothing fancy just a little gate and put torches around okay the reason why you put torches around you want to keep the bad guys the mobs the evil mobs away you don't want them spawning near your um, near your little wheat farm so all you're gonna do it's really simple you're gonna use the hoe that you made earlier and you're gonna right click you're not gonna left click if you left click you're gonna actually dig like that and you don't want that so what you're actually gonna do is right click and with the right click it's gonna actually till the ground see and you never want to jump on this because if you do see it turns untilled so you want to be careful when you're around here and in a few seconds you will actually become untilled so you want to put your seeds in pretty quickly and for your seeds again you're right clicking and there you go this is the first stage of the actual wheat all right they are planted and ready to go there I go ran out so you see this one already started to grow this one now you can add a little trench with water here I'm not going to do that in this video all right um, I will save that in another video when I go into farming and um, again this is not a tutorial on farming it is a tutorial on making wheat and sustaining food so that we can survive a couple days all right this is a very small garden you can expand it later you can just make more fencing and expand it but I just wanted to show you how this looks and now that 
all of our soil is like this, you're going to wait a couple days. The sun is going down on us, so good. Now, we can actually speed up the process. And if you get a couple skeletons, a couple bones, as you can see here, you can use your bones to actually make bone meal and to speed up your growth here. And what you do, you just hit, there we go, and you actually hit your wheat and you can harvest it. And let me just replant here. And good. I'm going to go back indoors because the sun is going down. And you can see I'm going to make bread. It's really simple. You actually don't need your furnace. You just need to put the wheat three in a row. Again, it doesn't matter exactly where you put it, but three in a row here will work. And you have bread. You have one piece of bread. Again, you get experience points. And now whenever you're hungry, you can eat. I believe bread replenishes two. Okay, it replenishes two little drumsticks. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good to have. So you keep doing this with your wheat. And you'll basically have unlimited food. Because as you keep tilling the ground, as you keep tilling the ground, you're going to get more seeds. And then as you get more seeds, you can expand and expand and make a huge garden. And you're always going to have wheat available. So that's a good tip to use. Also, you noticed I made a wooden door here. Let me show you how I did that. And this is part of our survival too. You're going to need six planks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you make a wooden door just like that. And you, to put it, it's very simple. Come on. You actually just place it. And now I have double doors. Pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for your food. That's what I wanted to do. I want to show you how to grow wheat. And now I'm actually going to show you how to bring animals in to an enclosure and actually make some oh, ooh, spider. They love to hang around, scare you. Um, I'm actually going to make you show you how to make an enclosure and a couple cows, maybe a couple chickens and how to get food from them. So here we go. All right, everyone, I am back in my little cabin here. So what I'm going to do, well, it's not like a cabin. It's like it's a little side of the mountain little house well the night passed and you see the wheat is slowly growing so that's good I was able to get some bones and I will show you how to fight in that in a later episode but we want to grow this a little faster so I'm gonna put my bones here make bone meal alright and I'm just gonna hit a couple of these I'm gonna hit the ones that are really not grown yet. Okay, so we're gonna harvest, harvest and replant. Okay, so I got a few seeds out of this, which is good. And now I'm gonna actually continue my farming. And again, this is for survival. So if you want, you could expand a little bit. What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna expand at the moment. I might do that in a later episode. I'm gonna go and get some animals. So remember, sheep do not give you food. Okay, so cows give you food. So we're gonna go get some cows. Now, if you're holding out the wheat like I am here, okay, the animals will follow. So you see the cows, you need to get at least two cows. Okay, so if you get sheep, oh no, I don't, sheep, I don't need you. Yeah, just go back. Sheep, yeah, no, ow, sorry, I know. I just need the cows right now. Yep, just need the cows. Yeah, not you. Hey, not you. Okay, so we have... Oh, good. We got four cows following us. Good. And I'm just going to take them kind of in an area close to where I am. Okay. And come on, cows. I probably should have made my enclosure first, but it is okay. As long as they're in the area, I am safe. I'm good. So this area looks pretty nice. We're going to take them up here. And just keep looking at them so that they will follow you. As long as you have two, you have good. If you have more, oh, I lost one along the way. It's okay. Oh, no. He's, is he? No. Okay. Well, they're around. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make an enclosure. If you can make them around the cows, good. If they escape, don't worry. Don't worry at all. As long as they're fairly recent in the area, then you're good. So not a big, big enclosure, okay? 
Again, nothing fancy, nothing too hot, okay? And I think I ran out of wood. No problem. I will actually do this. I will cut it down. And I will give you a basic idea of what to do. I was very ambitious with the size there. So, okay, good. And here I'm just going to put a fence, right? The fence that we made earlier. So I'm going to leave that open. Get my cows in here. Cow, yes. And you, yes. Both of you. Yeah, come in here. Not the sheep. Not the sheep. Go. And you guys are going to come in. Come in. Come on. No, you're too fat. Oh, these are fatties. Well, if they do that, just do this. There we go. Come on. Come on. No, no. You want to get in here? Hey. 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 Come back. Good, good. All right. Come on. They're really reluctant. Okay, good. Okay, once they're in here, you want to fence them in. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Wow, these cows are really helpful. They, of course, don't want to be in here. That's probably the problem. All right. And you have two in here. So you click on left click on one, left click on another. They will. Whoa. Hello. And look, we get a little baby cow. And there we go. That's what you do. This is very meager, very small, but you want to get in here too? All right. Fine. Come on, if you can fit. A small little cage. Yeah, well, he joined us too. Good. I'm glad. And little baby. And there you go. And this is it. This is where I want to end the video because now you have um, you have three cows in there, a baby cow, and now you can expand. Five. Now I have wheat growing. I have cows. And there you go. If you like this video, go ahead and please like it. I will appreciate that and subscribe. More videos will be coming out. And thanks for watching.